结果，都像一段故事，混乱的情绪，成就了一个命中注定。憧憬，命运的决定，却让生活唤醒了梦境。在你身旁，我不愿承认遗憾，所以更倔强，更不愿遗忘。后来的。惜在寂寞的那些夜里，没能让我看清。
Chasing bottles and we make up It's no better than the last one Vicious cycle, dead big couch Another day of bad luck Wish I would have known to let up
Ladies and gentlemen, we will begin in a moment. Please take your seats.
dum-dum We can dance in flannel tops We can dress like criminals Jack some cars and light them up Something And can break out of the door Conversations with a car Ask a phone if we're alone Oh, what thoughts would you mind ever your of the hole in your old dryer How'd you know that this is real? How'd you know that I ain't crazy? I'm just gonna wing it still You broke these walls I've been How'd you know that this is real? Just put it in an honest lie And time is up tonight But forgetting is the heart of life How'd you know that this is real? How'd you know that? Bottoms up, we can dance in flannel tops We can dress like criminals Jack some cars and light them up Something's wrong with my own defective coat My perception's pretty odd But for now I play along Oh, with your mind have your own sleep tonight Oh, well, I'm in the eye of the hole in your own dryer How'd you know that this is real? How'd you know that I ain't crazy? I'm just gonna wake you still You broke these walls I built How'd you know that this is real? Put in an honest life The time is up tonight But forgetting is the heart of life How'd you know that this is real? How'd you know that I ain't crazy? I'm just gonna wing it still You broke these walls I built How'd you know that this is real? To put it in the honest slide A time is up tonight But forgetting is the heart of fight That was mad good. Thank you to the graduates from the Diploma in Music and Audio Technology. A very good evening to PCEO of Singapore Polytechnic, Mr. So Wai Wa, Senior Director, Ms. Georgina Pua, Director of Med School, Mr. Joseph Teo, distinguished guests, parents, lecturers, and graduates. Welcome to the Media Arts and Design School Graduation Showcase 2019. I am Melissa. I'm Farhan, and we're year two students from the Diploma in Media and Communication, one of the nine diplomas Med School is showcasing today. Farhan, I can't believe our seniors are already graduating. It feels like just yesterday when they were taking us for orientation. Right, but unlike the first time when they entered SP, we'll now be graduating as Med students. Today, we will, we will be witnessing the launch of Med School, and we will be honouring some of our students' work. First, let us invite Director of Med School, Mr. Joseph Teo, on stage for his address. Mr. Teo, please. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Um, I'm Joseph, all right, I'm the MED director. 
<laughs> Very good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here just to say a few words of welcome. Uh, first of all, I want to thank you for being here. Um, Friday evenings are premium time slots. So your being here, you know, gracing, gracing us with your time, uh, we really want to thank you for that. Well, tonight is about celebrating the works of our graduating students. So um, they are being showcased around the SP Convention Centre and around the vicinity. If you have not walked around yet, I will encourage you to walk around after the opening segment of this uh, launch. Well, since it's all about the graduating student, um, I just want to say uh, three things to you. Um, it's about being mad, M-A-D. Right? First of all, I want to encourage you as you leave this gate, you know, to always remember to be meek. What does that mean? It means to be humble. Um, many of you are going to do great things in life. You know, whatever achievement you're going to have, you know, I really encourage everyone to remember, you know, to be meek, to be humble. Now, the second thing I want to tell the graduating students uh, is that, you know, to be appreciative. All right, A, being appreci uh, appreciative. Now, um, when you are growing, there will be people around you that's helping you with the growth. So tonight, if your family members are here, please show them appreciation. Your lecturers should be around, right? Lecturers, are you? <laughs> no, oh no. Okay, <laughs> they are waving. Right, so show some appreciation to your lecturers as well. Your, your course mates who have, helped you, who have helped you in your growth. Right, tonight is the night. All right, and lastly, you know, to be D, be disciplined. You know, no one can be good uh, if you don't put in the effort. All right, as you leave these gates, uh, I hope that you have already been trained by us through the attendance taking exercise called ATS. To be disciplined, you know, um, no one can be an expert or a master in the craft without putting in the 10,000 hours. So, you know, as you leave this gate, you know, you try to master your craft beyond what you learned in school. Um, I encourage you to be disciplined and uh, to do your best in all that you do. And uh, this is probably going to be the last event that you are involved in as an SP student. You know, after this, we are going to address you as our esteemed alumni. All right, so uh, with that, you know, I wish you all the best. Uh, thank you very much. Now I would like to invite, you know, the head of the SP family, our principal, to come forward to give his opening address. Good evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, all of you, for being here tonight for Singapore Polytechnic's new Media Arts and Design School first ever graduation show. I think let's give an applause for that. I would like to extend a special warm welcome for the family members, friends, our industry partners, our advisory committee members for being here. Uh, last October, 2018, uh, SP went through a reorganization involving three of our academic schools. The School of Communication, Arts and Social Sciences were affected. The School of Digital Media and Info Technology was also affected. And lastly, the School of Design. These three schools, uh, no more. And instead, we have reorganized ourselves into three new entities. They are the School of Computing, the School of Life, Skill and Communication, and the School of Media, Arts and Design. Arising from this reorganization, nine diploma courses from these former schools are now combined, come under a new creative cluster, the Media, Arts and Design School. As a school, MAD now have over 90 staff who look after more than 1,500 students. The staff decided on the name, M-A-D, uh, after they've conducted a poll among themselves. And they tell me that they like what they could do with the acronym. I'm certain that they will make a difference because they are 
motivated and determined. In fact, the school's vision is to mold and develop the creative talents of our students so that they can contribute to a more creative and imaginative Singapore. They also hope to make a difference in the creative industries through meaningful partnerships and innovative content across multi-disciplines and platforms. Why the need for change? Some of you may still be asking. After all, there will always be challenges and difficulties whenever we attempt to move facilities, equipment and people across campus. Well, the genesis of this reorganisation can be traced back to an internal review back in 2014. That was five years ago. They looked into our long-term role and position in relation to the I Institute of Higher Learning landscape and a wider creative arts sector. One of the recommendations proposed by that review team at that time is to consolidate all the art, media and design diplomas into a creative cluster within SP. And we think that that will harness the creative synergy between the various courses and allow us to be more efficient and effective and also to dream about what we can do. Now, when it comes to the creative industries, everywhere we look, we see the need for students to be able to work collaboratively in teams, communicate well, tell stories, articulate their ideas, think out of the box, harness digital media, experiment, produce work that is real, useful, heartfelt. We believe the time has come for Singapore and the world to witness a new brand of creative minds in the form of our MAD graduate, who is not only skilled in the chosen domain-based competencies, but is able to also work well with others and thrive in a transdisciplinary environment. This is why MAD is planning more programs and common spaces that will bring our students from different courses together. Beyond harnessing synergy and efficiencies, this new reorganisation is also about doing things differently. MAD is exploring new ways to collaborate with our industry, partners, both within and outside the curriculum, to ensure that we continue to value add to our partners. And in so doing, produce MAD graduates who are ready to contribute to the industry even before they graduate from our courses. We are also exploring new ideas in the way we provide our curricular offering with the aim of providing our learners with opportunities and choice to pick up the skill sets that are complementary to their core domain during their time with us. Now, to give you a taste of what you can expect from a MAD graduate, you'll be witnessing the opening show which combines some of the works of our graduating students from all the nine courses. I'd like to invite you to walk around the Convention Centre. It's still available tomorrow to see the works of the rest of our graduating students even at the, when we finish with this segment. And if you like what you see, please speak to our students and lecturers. In the spirit of exploring possibilities, we're happy to see how we can work with you to experiment and perhaps even eventually to transform. In conclusion, Change takes time. We're still in the nascent stage of our transformation. In forming the new creative cluster, we are taking this first bold step in this journey of change and transformation. I have full confidence in my staff at the MAD school to be mad enough to try and experiment with new and bolder ideas and make a difference in the way we deliver our education to our students. With this, thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. So. Please remain on stage for the launch ceremony. May we invite Deputy Principals, SP Management Team, School Management Team of Med School, Director of LSC and Director of SOC to join Mr. So on stage.
before we pop the confetti, let us all do a countdown together from three. Drum roll, please. Now, everyone, in three, three two, two, one. one. Max School is officially open. Let's give a round of applause for our guests. You may head back to your seats. Thank you. Thank you. With the launch of Med School, we will see a congregation of talented, aspiring creatives from the various media, arts and design industries. As a student myself, I am very excited to see how Med School will grow over the years and I'm even more excited to be part of this journey. Well, speaking of talent, we will be presenting a reel of creative works by our graduates from 2019. Sit back and enjoy.
all the way from Singapore, weighing in at 50 pounds, the world's youngest champion. Team, get down. I'm Team, and my dream is to be a wrestler. For now, I'm just an ordinary P3 student. Meeting new classmates. Joining a new CCA. And trying to do well in school. I like wrestling. And I want to do the wrestling. And so it's like a... And then, he appeared. Bone breaker, my imaginary friend. We do serious stuff together. Show no fear. Yeah! yeah.
This is a story where addictions are not problems, but shelters for the soul. Where a father comes home from a meaningless job, not knowing if he'll have work again next week. Where his wife and her sharp words leave scars in the husband's spirit. Useless son, waste money only send him to school. Bang, you poor Tatu, talk to him nicely. Hey, talk to him nicely also no use. You see our son, his attitude is like shit. Why you don't know how to make sure you go to school in the morning? Grown now, uh. Aisha, you know what the neighbors say about Halimi? They say he and his friends go downstairs and they use drugs. You know, you know, right? Yet, you still don't, you're still not fierce enough to him. You give him too much face. That's why he's like this. He's like this because of fun. You don't show him love. You don't have to show your children love. You only don't have to show. I make sure to bring food home for the family. Make sure you have money to buy your barang pasar. Make sure Hafiz, Hafiza, Sarah, and Halimi all can go to school. That's not love. You don't know how to appreciate. It's not that you don't know how to appreciate. Eh, tengok ni. Letter from HDB. Two months I haven't paid rent. Aisha, I have a lot to worry about. You? You only have two jobs. Clean the house and take care of the children. And that one, you cannot even ba, do properly. Ba, you only had one job and you lost it. Because why? Your alcohol problem. This is a story where a mother loses sight of a future for herself. With a son, told to brush away his anger, to just deal with it, losing hope that he belongs, that he matters. Eh, hey, it's not good to do that. You know it's not good for your body, right? It make you crazy. I quit already lah. Really? Yeah. That's good. You know, just listen to your parents. Go to school, do your work. That's how you can be better. Trying lah. But it's not easy. I just feel so angry all the time. You know, when that man gets drunk, he starts throwing things around. One time, it almost hit my mother. Oh, I swear, that moment, I really want to whack him. Hey, he's still your father lah. And at least for your mother's sake, don't make so much trouble at home, can not? You also don't go to school a lot, right? Lah. What's the point of going to school also? Your future lah! My future? You see my report book? I fail everything. What's the point of going to school if school don't even help me? Only rich people can do well lah. Not people like us who got no money. This is a story where neighbours watch, unsure of whether to close their doors or open their arms. Where, where family breaks, breaks crushed, crushed under, under the, the weight, weight of, of a pledge to prosperity. Ni, my pay from work. For what? You now not working, right? Then I heard you and Ibu talk about. Hey, don't talk about that nonsense. You just focus on school. I just want to help because you have no money now, lah. Dah lah. Kalau kita nak gaduh, buat penat je. Buat penat je. Aisha, you never teach your son any manners, ah. Hey, Ibu did nothing wrong to tell me, lah. And I just want to help. Go to school also, no point. If hey, you want to help, then you do better in school. Why you waste your time doing stupid jobs like this? Jobs like this have no future. Your school then how? Just quit lah! You stupid or what? Don't uh, have to! Take him Aisha, I go first ah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm delayed. Thank you, eh? The reason why this youth take drugs is because they, uh, they come from broken family. It's their life. They choose how to live it, huh? They are addicted because they are stupid. I try to advise them, but they never listen. I don't really share my problems because I don't want to burden anyone. This is a story where addictions are not problems. But shelters for the soul.
never leave even though the angels falling let's forget tonight only you and i will stay before i go you are the one that i can never own. let the stars tonight unfold and everything i see oh baby you're so beautiful everybody make some noise Baby, you're so beautiful to the match show. If you're feeling good tonight, I want to see your hands up high in the air. I want to see them higher. You ready? And one, and two, and one, two, three, go. Yeah. Thank you. You guys have been great. Good night. Wow, that was am Wow, that was amazing, Mel. What do you think? Same, Fahan. I loved it too. Thank you, Angel and Abed. Thank you, Angel and her band, as well as the students from the Diploma in Applied Drama and Psychology for their amazing performances. If you enjoyed the performance of Upper Hall and wish to catch the full performance later, you may do so later, outside, at the Open Theatre. With that, the MET Graduation Showcase 2019 is now in full swing. We would like to extend our warmest gratitude to the school management team, distinguished guests, and all present for joining us here today. Do support and do check out our students' work at Level 1 and Level 2 of the Convention Centre that can be found on your left as you exit from this auditorium, as well as the screening room above, right above us on Level 2. There will be ushers to guide you to the respective locations. I hope you guys are hungry because we've prepared dinner for everyone right outside the auditorium. But before that, let us remain seated and as we invite our school management team to take their leave first. <laughs> Once again, I'm Melissa. And I'm Farhan. Have, Have a, a great, great evening, evening ahead. ahead. Thank you. I should have kept my flowers Can't help it but Seem to be so into me 
And sometimes it seems like you don't even care I don't wanna wake up in an empty room It makes me feel lonely What you show your body to the washing pot I should have kept my feet.